So my name is Obed Calver, uh, from Miami, Florida. Of uh, my parents are from Haiti. Kind of fell in love with the music very early, and I knew I wanted to be a, a musician, a drummer. My junior and senior year in high school, I did this thing called the Grammy Band, who was, which was uh, run by Justin Zichocho, who was also the jazz chairman at Manhattan School of Music. So. I did that as well, the Grammy band for two years and was able to go to Manhattan School of Music. And I, I met a lot of great musicians at Manhattan School of Music. I mean, when I was there, John Benitez was there, Ambrose Akimishu, Walter Smith, Miguel Zanon, like a lot of great musicians were there. So it, it was definitely inspiring to be there. And it also set up a network where I can, as soon as I graduated, I was able to perform and um, make a living. So. It, it, was, it was a good experience to be there during the time that I was there and, and, and just play with a lot of different cats and, and improve my jazz playing, you know. Music from Haiti is definitely, um, I mean, it's, it's obviously going to be in my playing it's, it, because it's, but you know what's funny though, I didn't really start getting into the real roots of the, the music until I got older because simply because most of that music is, 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 is secular and my parents are from church so they didn't want us listening to any of the voodoo stuff. I wasn't concerned about what they were, who they were serving. I just felt something t when the drums and the voice were, were, were playing. It was like that. There's this feeling that this, these emotions that I felt that I couldn't control. That I, I just gravitated towards that music. My relationship with Vic started about, I would say, in 2009, 2010. When I tried the Extreme 5Bs, those just felt comfortable. They felt great. The weight on them was perfect. And what's awesome with that stick is it has, it's a pretty thick and heavy stick. So I don't have to do a lot of work, basically, to get a sound off the instrument. I can just let the stick bounce off the head and I get a nice, decent sound. You know, it, 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 the grip is nice and, and it just it just felt right for me, you know, and, and 
And since then, I've been playing them, you know, and, I, and I love them. Well, the SF Jazz Collective is, man, it's so unique because it's rare that you find a band where everyone's on top of their shit. <laughs> Forgive my French, but basically everyone in that band can play. There's, there are no slouches. Um, and as a drummer, I've, I mean, we're put in situations sometimes where we have to, we're in a box. We're in, hack, you know, we're in handcuffs. We have all these rhythms going on in our heads and a lot of cats can't hear that. You know, so, but in this situation, it's unique because no matter what I do, everyone knows where one is. You know, like I can basically play free on top of a vamp, and you know, everyone's gonna be there. You know, so I have nothing to worry about in terms of being able to express myself rhythmically. It's cool.